cooperation, the act of two or more people voluntarily working toward a common end is the essence of a free and democratic society. A hundred years ago, a group known today as the National Cooperative Business Association, CLUSA, was formed as a vessel to hold and promote the stuff out of which cooperation is made. They are called the seven principles, like democratic control, training and education, and commitment to community. Today, these concepts seem stunningly prescient as we struggle with divisive issues like income disparity, immigration, and even health care. We take you now to see these concepts in action and reveal the profound change that occurs when the motive for work and profit is mutual benefit, not corporate greed or individual wealth. It's such a wonderful time here in Marks, Mississippi. The Blues and Muse Festival is going on, and it is the celebration of Martin Luther King's journey from Marks, Mississippi to Washington, D.C. And Helen, I'm so excited to be here on behalf of the National Cooperative Business Association to help celebrate this very momentous occasion. So we're heading uh, north on Interstate 91 in western Massachusetts. Hi everybody, I'm Sarah from the National Cooperative Business Association, CLUSA International, and I heard that this game pretty much describes how cooperatives work in the funnest way possible. Cooply was a project that I had started in college. It was supposed to be like a 30 minute scenario about like how co-ops work and what it's like to be in one, and then it kind of spiraled out of control into a game. So here we are, this is Real Pickles. Uh, this was started by Dan Rosenberg and Addie Rose Holland a number of years ago as a naturally fermented pickling company. And in the past few years, they've turned it into a worker co-op. In here, you'll see some of the exciting potential for co-ops in local foods development. We're here today in the Central Co-op in the Capitol Hill neighborhood of Seattle. 13 and a half thousand member owners. Uh, we specialize in natural, organics, uh, fairly traded, and just ethically sourced products. Uh, a lot of local products as well. We have the highest entry level compensation of any grocer in America. So we have a $15.36 entry wage that's set to go up in a month. Here I feel valued. Everyone who works here from your maintenance janitor all the way up to the general manager, everybody's really invested in each other. The biggest difference of working at a co-op versus a bank is 100% of the focus of the organization is on serving the member. Ultimately, the member is the owner and the customer. That's the beauty of the cooperative model. You don't have to divide your interest. Instead, you're focused on serving one party who is both your owner and your customer. We have 22,000 very small farmers creating some of the world's finest and most expensive coffee, going into over 30,000 cafes worldwide. The best part of the story is that this is a cooperative. It's not just about individual coffee farmers, it's about farmers coming together, using better practices to be able to impact the broader community in education and health. That's the best part of the story, because yeah. they're able to brew such high coffee, sell it at such high prices. Uh, they're able to now provide health care for over 20,000 families in the area. So I get asked a lot, what is CLUSA? Well, the Cooperative League of the USA. We're an international NGO. We're focused on sustainable agriculture, food security and nutrition, natural resources management. I think the thing that really strikes me about CLUSA is the work that we've done over 62 years really at the community level and focusing on how to build capacity of countries like here in Mozambique. I think it's also important to note that you know, these, these farmers also have the ability to then uh, self-govern and to form uh, clubs and, and different groups that can help them and that's kind of the beauty of the co-op model that they're able to, to kind of do these things on their own. 
Well, this is what it would be looking like if they didn't make any changes at all. I mean, this is the difference right here. I see. There's a 